what's up guys today we're going to be taking a look at the gopro hero 5 dome port from shoot um and then i have some examples here on the gopro here to see some of the differences what i like and what i don't like about it um one thing i don't like is the screws on the old one had little slots so you could uh stick like a phillips or even just like a coin to tighten and untighten because they do get stuck and hard to do sometimes so this the, the new one is flat and does not have that so you have to do it by finger or um you have to use a tool put it somewhere else so i don't like that about it however now with the new one um i like the fact that the gopro hero 5 is waterproof by itself so before i so worry about the cases it came with just in case it failed just because it's not original but now I don't have to worry about that. Um, just pop it in here. You have to take it out of its original skeleton frame, which you won't need anyways. And just pop it in there, fits perfect. And again, if for whatever reason this fails and it's not waterproof, the camera itself is waterproof, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I also like the fact that they added these silicones so it fits more snug in there. Pop it in, screw it on, you're good to go. Now, uh, one major thing, another major thing that I think they could have done is something like this where this is for the Hero 4, but um, they have, if they, they have this, they don't have like this uh, back brace, this uh, cage. So this one doesn't have a cage, but this is permanently stuck on there. So I would have really loved if they did that because that way, or else things get in here if it's not permanently on there, such as water or dust or whatever it is, and it's really hard to clean. So this is permanently on there, and then they have this strap where you just pull on it, and it opens right up. Uh, the only problem with this, again, I don't trust the aftermarket case so and the, this is for the gopro hero 4 so this could re ruin your hero 4 so i don't recommend it but again i wish they shoot did that for their hero 5 and if so that'd be a 5 out of 5 but regardless um, i'm gonna rate it 5 out of 5 just because the cost of it it's not that expensive if they had all these little things that i asked for i probably definitely would have uh, been willing to pay more for it so um, that's it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. The dome port itself, uh, it's gonna let you get those half-half shots. Half above the water, half under the water. And you can't get that with the GoPro because the lens is so small, number one. And two, it distorts it. Even if you do accomplish to get it, there's gonna be a big smudge. It's not gonna be a clear line. Um, and the third biggest reason is actually, uh, even if you were fully submerged, the GoPro obviously is meant to do that. But if you shoot with a dome port, uh, what happens is it's actually more clear and more, um, let, me, let me rephrase. So if you shoot without the dome port, it's enlarged. If you shoot with the dome port, uh, the under image in the water is not enlarged. It's not magnified. So another reason when you do half-half without a dome port, you're gonna get the top portion, you're gonna get that smudge that you don't want, plus the bottom part, it's gonna be magnified. It's gonna be way bigger. I'll try to find some example shots and put it in the clip, and then I'll show you clips from today when I did the testing.